We're here at home site 241. This is the Don Darrow residence, and this is a Harbortown 3, uh, where I cross from Timber Ridge Estates, which you can see over there. And this will be our new model. Um, again, this is a Harbortown 3, and it will be leased back, and so we will be able to walk through it. Um, if you are interested in building a Harbor Town 2 or a Harbor Town 3, we do have a Harbor Town 3 model actively in St. James right now. So um, if you want to see this one, I'm more than happy to walk you through this one. But then we do also down in St. James have a Harbor Town model that's finished and fully furnished. Um, so you'll notice here we did add a third bay. Um, so you got a nice, nice size garage. One of the things about the Harbor Town is that it does not have the bonus room over the garage. So here we have really nice tall ceilings in the garage. They, uh, Steve has added a service door on the back. And then there is some storage area up there on the garage. Notice the brick foundation and the brick steps going in the garage as well as on the front porch and they'll be on the rear porch also. Um, so this house does have that unique two story design um, love the front door with the side lights. That is the included front door. <clears throat> so some things to note when you walk in, notice how the, you can see right through the back of the house, uh, really maximizes that view. Uh, the great room is nice and big. We have a, so a few different ceiling details here. So over the great room area, we have this nice coffered beam detail. In the foyer, we actually have a two-story foyer with a beam detail, and then it does have the pavilion room that you can see into as well when you walk in. Uh, so that's definitely a unique feature of this house. And then you do have the kitchen and dining area here, which has this really pretty hip roof with a beam detail. So you have your kitchen pantry uh, on one side of the foyer, and then the powder room is there on the opposite side of the foyer. And then uh, kitchen cabinetry will go all the way down this entire area. So um, you'll have cabinetry all around. And then of course a nice big island as well. Uh, folks really do love the kitchen in the Harbor Town um, because it does have a lot of lateral light and it does have an island with no sink in it, uh, which is unique. Uh, many of the plans you will see have the sink in the island, uh, whereas this one actually has it with the windows above. And then of course you do have the dining area there in the back of the home. So here you have the fireplace with built-ins on either side. And then uh, Steve opted for a screen porch rather than a four season. So you can see the nice nature view. Absolutely beautiful out today. There's that front of the foyer, and it's got that two-story ceiling. We do have storage under the stairs. So nice storage area there. And then this is the primary suite. So here, you'll see you got a nice bay window detail overlooking the nature. Do have a lot of natural light here in the bathroom also. So you got your double vanity. Zero entry shower with the bench. We'll have tile all the way to the ceiling in there also. And then in the primary, you do have a water closet with a nice big window and a linen closet and then a huge walk-in closet. Right across from the walk-in closet will be the laundry area. And then um, in this hallway, this is how you access the garage. And then we'll have two guest suites on the first floor as well. So the Harbor Town is gonna to feature two guest suites with a shared Jack and Jill bath in between. So you have your vanity and then your shower. We have a nice pocket door in between so someone can be getting ready the vanity and the shower at the same time. And then you do have your second guest suite downstairs. So downstairs total, there's the primary two guest suites, so three bedrooms and two and a half baths. So you do have the, the primary bath as well as the guest bath and there is a powder room as soon as you walk in. Upstairs, there will be a nice lounge, a balcony and a bedroom as well as some storage area. 
So up here, this is that pyramid ceiling with the beam detail in the, the pavilion room. Again, you're gonna have the balcony overlooking the foyer. You have storage on one side of the foyer as well as storage on the other side of the foyer. And then of course the unique feature of the Harbor Town that people love is this upper balcony. So you can see, you can definitely take in some of the views up here. It's absolutely beautiful. And it's a nice size. It's actually the exact same size as the porch downstairs. This is a weatherproof membrane. It'll be a truck stacking that goes over the top of that. <clears throat> Here's the stairs going down. And then up here also, we have a closet for like stores, for games and things like that. A bathroom, so linen closet, vanity, shower, toilet area, lots of windows for natural light. And then there's another closet. I'm sorry, another bedroom up here. Uh, this is the fourth bedroom. So total, this house is four bedrooms and three and a half baths. Again, we do have a model of the Harbor Town down in St. James. This will also be a model. And if you want to see this house while it's under construction, feel free to reach out to me and I'll be happy to show it to you. Thank you and have a great day.